All right, guys and ladies, I found a fish recipe that not only looks easy, but might satisfy my butter addiction. Well, it's loaded with butter and pecorino, garlic, basil. Well, I picked up all the ingredients, except one, the fish. <laughs> Shall we try collecting a few from our open air fish market? I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. So Very big. That's all I'm catching today. These little guys. He's too small to even consider. Let's throw him back. catching these little ones. You know, bunches of little ones. And now look, I'm supposed to call those between 12 inches and like 10 inches. This thing is too big, so I can't use it. I'm going to have to return it. These are the ones we want to preserve. Over 16 inches. Oh, so small, but we're desperate. I'm gonna keep it and fillet it. Gotta remove these small ones anyway. Oh, what do you know? I caught a chubby little keeper, and I'll say chubby. Short and fat. So I'll show you what I'm trying to use today. Not very successful. This is called a boar hogs. It's put out by Z-Man. I have it on a 1 15th ounce jig head. Also by Z-Man. Bullets, it's called. Okay, one. Oh, it's, it's been so long I've been out here and all of a sudden two casts in a row. Another short chubby guy, a little pond pygmy, very edible. Mm. Yes, yes, it's too small. But I'm keeping them recipe fulfillment. I gotta make this recipe. And I can get some meat off of them. Mm. Come here. Oh, so small. It's okay, we're gonna keep them. He's going to be part of our buttery fish recipe. 
Looky here, it wasn't a fabulous day of fishing, but these bass plus some more I've got in the freezer will allow us to try that buttery pecorino e fish recipe. So let's get in the house and fillet our gullible guppies. And tomorrow we can work on that recipe. Yesterday was a cold, gloomy day. We caught a nice big bass, but the others, they were dinkerinos. Even so, we were able to get a pound of these nice fillets. And I'm going to add a few more that I had in the freezer. I'm eager to start on our garlic butter fish. But first, a low carb side that I've never tried before. Creamy mashed rutabaga. So these are rutabagas. They're also known as Swedes. I guess because of their blonde hair and blue eyes. I have to chop and peel these. This is easy to peel. These only have less than half the carbs of potatoes. I feared that I would need a chainsaw to do this, but not so. Let's chop up some chives. Looky here, I'm chopping my own basil. Or is it basil? I've heard it pronounced both ways. Let's add a quarter cup of water to our rutabaga and then we'll microwave this for up to 20 minutes. I don't know, we'll see. It's been over 20 minutes. Let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, see the fork goes right through these. They're done. Now I'm gonna drain these as best I can. Okay, in goes a half teaspoon of salt, some pepper, about a quarter teaspoon, I guess. Two tablespoons of butter. About a half cup of sour cream. Mm -hmm. Here's a half cup of sharp shredded cheddar. Here's a few tablespoons of pecorino romano, my favorite cheese. Well, I did say mashed. I don't know what I'm doing, but here goes. Here's a few tablespoons of chopped chives. The only thing I'm missing is the chopped bacon, but that'll come next time. Let me taste just a little bit. Mmm, creamy, delicious. It reminds me of like sweet potatoes. Very creamy and good and cheesy. Let's put this aside and get on with our fish. Right now I'm making lemon zest and it smells so good. No pithy remarks, please. You remember this bass recipe features butter? Well, here's six tablespoons I'm gonna melt right now. Well, here's our low carb breading station. Here are two cups, two cups of pecorino romano. I got it from the supermarket. Look at that. Now this stuff is expensive. I had to get a bank loan. You could use Parmesan. We have to de-lumpify it. Here's three teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Here's that lemon zest. Here's that small bunch of basil basil that we chopped up. Let's mix this well. So here is our melted butter. Let's put a fillet in there, grease it up and drain it and then we'll throw it in our breading. Now let's cover it up with our cheese mixture, pecorino romano, and into our sheet pan. Now I've greased that sheet pan. Let's continue until we're done. I'm on my last piece. Look how nice that is. Now let's put it in this sheet pan, and then the sheet pan goes in the oven for 15 minutes. That's it. We're done. I'll check after 10. 400 degrees, here goes. You know, a lot of people ask me, can I use cod, can I use tilapia, can I use catfish? Well, let me 
fill you in on a secret. None of these recipes are for <laughs> bass or bluegill. I plagiarized them from others, and this one happens to be for cod while our fish is roasting away. I should let you all know. I'm expecting a special guest for dinner tonight. It's the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And well, I'm over the moon with anticipation. Although I, I suppose I need to return to earth. You see, we've been seeing each other for decades, yet she doesn't seem at all that interested in marrying me. Maybe if I offered her a whole life of happiness, she would, she would melt and, and I'd win her heart. I don't know. It's been about 13, 14 minutes. Let's get our fish out. Oh, 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 I almost spilled it. Oh, look at that. It looks so buttery and delicious. All I have to do now is set the table. Well, it's my great pleasure to have here with me tonight the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you, thank you for joining me here at my uh, humble, hokey hovel. And you had a chance to, well, keenly consume my mashed rutabaga with sour cream and my bass with pecorino garlic and butter. And I'm really eager to know what you thought of the meal. It was very good. And now you were worried about the rutabaga, rutabaga, it was and, a little, but it was delicious. A little bit bitter. Well, the bitterness really, you got used to it. And you, yeah. you noticed the, the real cheesy and the real rich Creamy. flavors. Yes. And of course the fish was delicious. And you know, it, the sauce always makes the fish and it was, it was wonderful. Thank yeah. you. The, the fish had that uh, pecorino romano. Yes, corn. yes. You know, Miss Cheeks, oh, I forgot, I can call you Lulu now. Yes. <laughs> Miss Lulu, what if I told you that from here on out, I'm going to make you the happiest woman in the world? Oh, dear, I'm going to miss you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Can I have a hug?